Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kobe TV. And right now, I'm going to be showing you my zombie deck from Yu-Gi-Oh! So, hope you guys have fun and enjoy. Which I'll be doing a lot of reading of each card names. That's going to be hard. First card is... Goblin Zombie with a little sword. It says, If this card inflicts bad damage to your opponent, send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, add one zombie monster with, two, with 1,200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Yes, uh, so I kind of like, I like this card. As you guys know, I'm in my mom's room since my mom's eating breakfast, watching TV, my dad to watch the sun appropriate, so I have to do it here. No other choice. Next one is Foolish Burl. Cool. It says, send one monster from, the, from your deck to the graveyard. That's it. See? Scape Ghost. Scape Ghost. It says, this is Zombie Flip Tuner Effect. Flip, you can special summon any number of black sheep tokens. Zombie slash dark slash level one slash zero attack. Plus zero defense. We have, we have, we have, trust me, guys, we have a lot, lot to go. Beast of the Furrow. Yeah, if you guys see, my, my mom's room is a mess. That's garbage. That's weird. And this is. If this card is sent to the, to the graveyard for a syn synchro summon, you can target one level four or lower zombie monster from your graveyard. Special summon it. I mean, special summon that target. And, and I think that's braids. His braids. Palin of the Cursed Dragon. It says, Once per turn, you can target one level 4 or lower zombie monster in your opponent's graveyard that that was destroyed by battle. Special summon that target. Ooh, it kind of ha has like a knight on it. See? Yeah. And the deck has no eyes. Might with a sleeping bag on it and spider on a white insect. I really hate this card because it's rare. You can discard this card from the discard to the graveyard, then target one feed or a zombie monster. Your opponent controls. Take control of that target until the end phase. <clears throat> so yeah. So so far these are all the cards I showed you. All the cards I showed you. Same my school. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this face-up card and its owner's control leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, you can special summon one level 4 or lower zombie monster from your deck except Samurai Skull, which is this card. And I might have the doubles, and I won't read it to you again because I read it to you 
because because I have some doubles like 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 this. I have a double samurai skull. I have a d double necro banshee. Amateur tail ruler. Cannot this card cannot be special summon. You can tribute this card then target one zombie world in your graveyard. Add it to your hands. Not bad. Not bad. I really don't understand that, but but I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Mazuki. And I think I have doubles of them. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one zombie monster from your graveyard. Special summon that target. Mizuki. And, and I might get a Kazuki. Yep. Kazuki. They're, they're not the same. Look. Do you guys really think they're the same? They're not. M Mizuki's a horse. Um, Gazuki is a bull, right? Yeah, bull. During your main phase, you can send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish one zombie monster from your graveyard except Gazuki. Special summon one zombie monster from your hand. You can only use each effect of, of Gazuki once per turn. Gazuki. All the cards I showed you. All the cards I showed you guys. And we're not even halfway done. Look at all the cards I have to show you. Let's just look at all the cards I have to show you. Guess what? And, uh, and all this is a full deck. Well... Well, I kind of upgraded with actual zombies. Not actual. Like, like some zombie cards I added in. Yeah. Ooh. Metaverse. Extreme trap card. Take one field spell from your deck and either activate it or add it to your hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put face down because of the trap. I'm joking. I'm not in battle. Trust me, guys. I might make a video of me battling my dad. Might. Of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wait, leave, leave a thumbs up if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! If you don't, just don't please still leave a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Shatadaji. Yeah, I don't know. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Banish two zombie monsters from your graveyard. Draw one card. Target one of your banished zombie monsters. Place that target on the top of your deck. Kind of cheating, but it has to be good. Wait. Oh. It has to be banished. So, so, so I want to banish a good card so I, I can put it on top of my deck so I can have it again. I play it and then destroy my dad. And I hope all you guys understand that. As you guys know, I have I have a mirror. Yeah, guys. Yeah, see, look, I have a double. This one, I'm gonna read it to you since I already read that to you. Ooh, this is one of my first. Tristan Knight of the Un. The underworld. Come on, lights. There you go. You see it? When this card is no more summit, you can target one zombie monster with zero defense in your graveyard and add it to your hand. He gains 300 attack if you control other zombies. Alright, guys, and just as you know, my, my mom has a Beyblade. This is my mom's. I'm not lying. You, I can even put it in a video and she'll see it's hers. Okay. 
and I'm really filming this video in my mom's room, and my camera's like in, in her makeup session thing. Necro Banshee. Yeah, and, and I have doubles. I have doubles. And, and this, is, this is a photo. Look. It's a photo. Zom zombie road in the field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither place to target it, target wood with card effect. Card effects. Quick effect. You can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Activate it one zombie road directly from your hand or deck. You can only use this effect of Necro Banshee once per turn. Yeah. This one has to be one of my second favorites. My second favorites. Yeah. Mizuki. See? I have double double this, so I'm not going to read that to you again. Ooh, my third. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. This is, a, this is my third favorite. You can tribute summon this card in attack position by tributing one zombie monster. When this card destroys destroys a zombie monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon that zombie monster. Yeah. Trust me, all these cards are mine. I have a whole collection. All these cards are mine. I'm not lying. And now I have a binder. It's a binder. I probably sh I'll probably show you that next video. Onion zombie. You can use one face up monster on the field. This card one card, and if you do, increase that target's level by one. You can target one face up monster on the field. Monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. Except zombie monster. Also, send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, increase that target level by one. You can only use each effect of Union Zombie once per turn. And look, and zero defense is actually good. You will not take damage. Alright, and, and this defense is 2000, which is really good. All the cards I showed you so far. All the cards I showed you. Fiber made turtle. Which which has that kind of beard. And and I think it's sick because it has red eyes. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one zombie monster with 2,000 or less defense from your deck. Easy. 2,000 defense. And so far, all the stuff I showed you has sleeves. See? Oh my gosh. I was about to drop all of them. And some of this, I don't really have sleeves because, because I kind of wish on my dad's sleeves for my deck oh yeah and necro banshee which i showed you that already sharina saw tonight i think i don't know and you you can tribute one monster one zombie monster special summon one zombie tuner with zero defense from from your deck you can use this card. If this card is banished, you can target one of your banished Sharina monsters, except Juno Soteret, or up to two, or up to two instead of if Sharina Styles Sanctus is on the field. Special summon them. You can only use each effect of Shirina Sultari once per turn. Awesome. Really awesome.
words. I did not understand one word I just said. But I'm just saying awesome because uh, uh, it was a graphic. It looks awesome. Ooh, Sharina's style success. Look, one of my third tr best track cards. I don't know. Special summon one zombie monster from your hand and but banish it when it leaves the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Over that and target one zombie monster you control. That zombie monster is unaffected. Unaffected by card effects this turn except its own. You can only use one turn my style so says effect per turn. And only once that turn. So I can only use this once. Once per turn. So that kind of means I, I can accuse it this turn. The next one I can't. And then the next one I can't. So once that is one per, once per turn. I think I don't know. But yeah. I, I literally, this was the first card I showed you. So I'm not reading it. Ooh. Trap of the Emperor Tome. It's scary. When a when a zombie monster is special summoned from your opponent's graveyard to your field, target two cards on that field, destroy them. And guys, I started you like last year, and I still have, haven't won any game. I have like three losses and zero wins. Well. Well, I'm really good at bar flipping. At school, I, I'm the champion. I'm not lying, I am. Even my friends, the Seer, Caleb, Jalen, Bryce, whoever watches, let them know I'm a champion, okay? Let them know. Haunted Shrine. With the actual ghost. If you control no monsters, Target one zombie monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. If you control no monsters, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one zombie monster in your, in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects are negated. You can only use one haunted shrine effect per turn, and only, only once that turn. See, guys. Hmm. See, look. The very first card I showed you. Ooh. Pal. Uh, zombie. I really can't understand that name. And I think. I think my dad traded this to me. Yeah, my, 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 my dad traded this to me. You can return one card from your hand to the top of the top of the deck. Special summon this card from your graveyard. If you do, banish this card when it leaves the field. <sighs> I'm just living my dream in this messy room. You guys should see my room. It's clean. You guys have to wear sunglasses in my room. I'm joking. You don't, but it's clean. Trust me. It's very clean. Ooh, my first. First trap card that I ever, I ever liked. Return of the Zombies. I love this trap card. I love it. Then there's one zombie monster on the field. Then special summon one, monster, one zombie monster from your graveyard. Of the player who controlled it to the field and defense position. If this card is now graveyard, it's not in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters to your deck. If you do, set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use, use each effect of return of the zombies once per turn. Same thing I just said like five minutes ago I think. Five minutes ago. Ooh, look, it has a sleeve, just plain. Can't look, it doesn't because look, black sleeve, a clear sleeve. It's because I, I like 
my zombie deck in black because the zombies are like black are like in darkness so that's why and this, this is the zombies and clear sleeves because I kind of ran out of black sleeves during either turn ex wait a second this is an ultra rare look it's rainbow and the name is shiny so it's an ultra rare Oh, or it might be a super rare. Oh no, it's rainbow. That's rainbow, so, so it's an ultra rare. There's some little kit. It's an ultra rare. Okay. During the turn, except the end phase, click effects. You can discard, discard, apply this effect of this turn. You can only use this effect of ghost, sister, and spooky. Dog wood once per turn. Oh yeah, and its name it is is Ghost Sister Spooky Dogwood. Okay. Each time your opponent special summons an effect monsters during the main phase or battle phase, you can gain life points equal to that monster's attack. If you didn't gain life points by this effect. Your life points are halfway during the end phase. Yeah. So, so you would like to put this card in defense mode because its attack is zero, its defense is eighteen hundred. In defense, you take no damage. Life saving. Life saving. And this card has no sleeve. Defense has no sleeve. And this ghost Bella haunted Madison. Ultra rare too. Ultra rare. Okay. When a card or effect is activated that includes any of these effects, quick effects, you can discard this card, negate that activation. Add a card from your from the graveyard to the hand. Deck and slash or extra deck. Extra deck is with the synchros. Link, X, I think XDs, XDs, and I think, oh, and, and two more. Wait, is this a two more? Yeah, it is. But, yeah, I think that's it. When, wait a second. Oh, I, I already did it here. Let's just summon a monster card from the graveyard. Banish a card from the graveyard. You can only use this effect of Ghost Bella and Haunted Madison once per turn. Same thing, okay, same thing. So if you comment what what per turn means, watch the, the video over and over until you understand what I'm saying to you about what per turn, okay? Sleeve. This is a Ghost Creeper of Winter Cherries. I think this is ultra rare. This is ultra rare too. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so much ultra rares. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, quick effect. You can discard. This card reveal one card in your extra deck. Then look at your opponent's extra deck. Also, banish all cards in the their extra deck with the same name as the reveal card. You can only use this effect. A ghost raper, raper, and win and winter chairs once per turn. Remember, listen carefully. Careful, okay? Listen careful. Once per turn means first turn you can use it, next turn you can't. The next turn you can. Understand that, guys? You good? In all the, I mean, all the cards I showed you. And we kind of have a little bit. Okay, guys, we're almost done. We're we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done. Trust me. Okay. Look. Okay. Well, I know I'm not showing you the card, but look, has sleeves. And then this card. Well, oh, dropped it. Ash blossom of joyous spring. When a card or effect 
is activated, that includes any of these effects, quick effect. You can discard this card, then create that effect. Add a card from your deck to your hand. Special summon from that deck. Send a card from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use this effect of Action Blossom Joy Spring once per turn. I'm not going to tell you again. Just rewind the video. Okay. No, no sleeve, and it says, and this is a super rare, my dad said, this is a super rare, different temps and grounds, it says, this card, any, this turn, any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead, cool, I'm joking, awesome, really awesome, I kind of, kind of vanished now. Advantage to that deck trap card. Ooh, this is an ultra rare. Ultra rare. Samuelson Barrier. Declare one monster card's type ritual. Oh, yeah. It's ritual. Wait, synchro. Link XD ritual fusion. Yeah. Ritual Fusion Synchro XYSZ or Predium. Yeah, that too. For the rest of this turn, we, we neither player can special summon monsters of their declared type, also negate the effects of all monsters of that type while they are on the field. You can only use. You can only activate one Dimso Barrier per turn. Again, rewind the video. You don't understand that. Jeez. This is the, this is my mom's Beyblade in her launcher. And my dad has a Breaker Excalius. And I have Storm, I have Triple Surprise and Sword Power Truck and Glyph Dragon. And Ace Dragon and Rock Dragon. So I kind of have the whole evolution. Ooh, I think this is a super rare. Forden. Uh, let me see this. A uh, pro. I don't know. Declare one monster card type fusion, synchro, or explosive. If two or more monsters of the declared type are on the field, make each player send all monsters of that type to their field or graveyard. There can be only one. That is the name of this trap card. There can only be one. What? In the bones. Look. Look. You see it? The full focus camera. But I hope you guys can see it. Each player can only control one monster of each type. If a player controls two or more monsters of the same type, they must send some of the graveyard so they control no more than one one monster of that type. Thank you, life savior, life savior. This is almost half my deck. Almost half. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Ooh, super. Blast, I don't know, but it's really cool. This card, one card, fuse summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either field has fusion material. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. Vampire Retainer. Poor cat. <laughs> if this card is special summon, you can pay 500 life points. Not to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> pay 500 life points. Add one vampire spell trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your, is in your graveyard, you can send one vampire card from your hand or face up field. 
to the grave, a special summon this card and but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use each effect of the vampire once per turn. Yeah. Okay. Ha ha my deck guys. And and all these I mean and all these cards have sleeves. Wait, can I see? Let's see. Nope. I'm just going to show you that one card that has no sleeve. Vampire Scarlet Scorch. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just a common. If this card is normal, some is is this if this card normal or special summon, you can pay one thousand life points, then target one vampire monster in your graveyard except Vampire Scarlet Storage. But so summon it, but it cannot attack. This turn you can scorch. Only uses the effect of Vampire Scarlet Sword once per turn at the monsters. Yeah. I'm just trying to hurry up. No, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm just not going to read it. I'm going to go show you it. Bam. Call of the Mummy. Book of Life. Transcendental Dragon. Baby Dragon. Drag down into the grave. Endless DK Monsters Gate Kashasa And you guys if you guys can see it just pause the video Burrow these different sounds I don't know Doom again Yeah I had to I had to And there's these two Okay, so I hope you guys have fun watching me showing my deck and subscribe to and, and click the bell. Bye.